Hello and welcome to the Timeshare channel. My name is Lee Woodward and this is the second programme of the brand new series looking at Timeshare. In our last programme we looked at comparing Timeshare with travel agencies and with internet holidays. For those that missed the first episode I would recommend that you review the previews on the Timeshare channel. You don't want to miss at how you can obtain weekly quality spacious apartments in Timeshare for the price of one or two nights in a hotel room. For this programme in the series we are continuing our theme and looking at Timeshare for those that are not familiar with owning their own holiday time. As the series develops those inexperienced Timeshare owners that are not making the best of their Timeshare may just find the Timeshare channel of some real benefit to them. Today we're going to be looking at exchange companies and how important their role is within the timeshare industry. Mike and Edie, who are presently in Monterey County in the USA, will be joining us. They will tell us about how they are currently able to holiday for a whole year in timeshare just by working exchange companies. Then, Graham Williams will be sharing his expertise with us. Graham, as you know, is the founder of Timeshare Weekly that provides education and guidance on effective use of timeshare. Graham will be joining us, but this time from Florida. So, let's get back to Graham. Hi Graham, how is Florida? We're having a great time, Lee. Uh, the children love it here, and we just have, and I think it's got something to do with a, a mess called Mickey. We're staying at a great resort called Orange Lake, having a fabulous time. In fact, um, I had to have the sat nav on for a, a couple of days to ensure I didn't get lost. Uh, next week we're off to Maritz, the Grand Vista, before we fly back home. So, what made the difference and how did Timeshare Weekly come around? Well, I was in love with the concept of holiday exchange and the fact that I could get an annual entitlement that made me take my holidays. That, that was important to me at the time. So I sat aside some time on a regular basis to understand Timeshare. Uh, my knowledge grew and I found that I was getting asked for advice and I ended up creating uh, a newsletter of sorts back in 2001. This grew quickly and I started literally to get thousands of timeshare owners from around the world, from various clubs and resorts, feed back to me. All this in turn increased and compounded my knowledge of timeshare on a worldwide basis, and all the different systems and weapons of different resorts, whether it was in India, Thailand, America, I was getting feedback on this. That's when I decided to practice timeshare weekly, and this is back in 2003, as I knew there would soon outgrow an electronic newsletter. I soon came to the opinion that if you own the right holiday product to suit your holiday style and you do a little homework, you will have a lifetime of great holiday experiences. Timeshare Weekly is continuously evolving based upon the feedback I receive from timeshare owners. We provide our readers the opportunity to work the system and not waste time like I did, trying to work out as it's all been done for them. Well, I certainly envy your lifestyle, Graham. You always seem to be on holiday. Someone has got to do it, Lee to keep on testing the system so I can ensure that I can provide current information and some great guys to actually help. It's, it's a heavy burden. Well, today I have a great example of what can be achieved if you work the system. And I'm pleased that Mike and Edie are able to share their story with us. It came I came across their blog site several months ago uh, and reached out to them, uh, as it just seemed a fantastic example how to work timeshare especially as they only own two weeks. I have known other timeshare owners who work the system and take out bite-sized lengths of perhaps six weeks up to 12 weeks, but no one 12 months. And they're taking these mainly with bonus weeks with the exchange companies. The exciting thing is Mike and Edie's journey is not yet over. Well, on that note, we got to speak to them. Hi, Mike and Edie, welcome to the Timeshare channel. For our viewers, could you tell us a little bit more where your journey has taken you so far? Hi, Timeshare Channel, Graham and Lee. Um, we have traveled from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. The southernmost was Key West, Florida. The northernmost was um, New York City, but we also went to Victoria and on Vancouver Island, and the, the northernmost was Port Hardy. Um, we've been to about 35 different timeshares, um, most of it a week at a time. Sometimes we stay two weeks. Uh, the most recent, um, we were in um, Las Vegas and Michael's brother and his wife joined us and we were at the Grand 
view. It's near South Point Casino and it was a beautiful two bedroom in one of their newer uh, towers. They have nine towers. And um, it was $246.52 for the whole week. It was, it was a great time. Wow. That's some holiday trip so far. Now I'm sure the viewers would want to know, whose idea was this? How did it come about? Well, Evie was still working. I was retired and she really wanted to travel. So I put together a plan where we could afford to do this. And it involved uh, taking everything we owned that we really wanted to keep and putting it in storage and renting our house out. We hired a neighbor as our property manager. We actually have a couple of places on our, on our property. And um, so he managed it and we felt very good about being away from our place uh, while, while he was watching it for us. It took about a year to get it all together and make it all happen and, and a lot of work, uh, as you can imagine, putting everything you want to keep in storage. And uh, so I, it was my idea to make her happy. Well, I've got to ask the question, what exchange company have you been using? We're affiliated with uh, both RCI and II, and we look at the other exchange companies, Dial-In Exchange and some of the others out there. Um, mostly we use RCI, though. That's been working for us with their specials and their extra vacation sales and things like that. Um, so mostly it's RCI. So, how do you go about this? Do you just call them, look online, maybe request a search for your weeks? Mostly we do, um, well, I'd say about 95% of everything we do is online. Um, and we're always searching and looking for specials and all, through all the different exchange companies. Um, we try and keep, on travel days, we try and keep the travel, the driving down to five hours a day or less. Um, we're old and we don't like to travel that much, drive that much. Um, so we try to consider that when, when booking. We also consider what's in the area, if there's something we want to see or do or explore. And, you know, we just take all those things into consideration. I'm sure there must be a lot of viewers that would love at some stage in their life to consider this. I know I would. I hope you don't mind me asking, but I know a lot of viewers will be very curious about this. Do you have a budget for this? Well, we've put together a budget. We started out at $2,500 a month, and then we raised it to $3,000, and now our target is $3,500 a month. We spend roughly uh, $800 to $1,200 a month for lodging, $800 to $1,000 a month for food, $100 to $250 a month for gasoline. We drive a Prius. and. Um, the rest pretty much goes to entertainment. Of course, when we were in New York City, we broke our budget in, in every category. That, it was just very expensive there. But other places, we really come in way under budget. And I feel I could do it for 2000 but we wouldn't have nearly as much fun. Yeah, or eat nearly yeah, as well. Yeah, or eat as well. Wow, that's cheaper than what some people pay to stay at home. Do you have any holiday timeshare tips for, for the viewers you would like to share? Sure. If it's a popular place, book it as early as you can. For a place you really want to go and must go, book it early. Uh, some places as much as two years out, if you can. Uh, the really popular places at the really popular times fill up very fast. It, they're they're high desired, highly desired places. Thank you for that. I'm sure Graham is covering something on this a little later on. So, where are we off to next? We're doing short trips around home uh, until our daughter gets situated. Uh, but we're looking forward to time in Angels Camp, California, very close to our home also in Marina Dunes. We're running up to Oregon uh, to see family and uh, have uh, a nice time. And also we're going back to Las Vegas very soon, next month, uh, to see Gary Puckett in the Union Gap doing some of our favorite songs from the 1970s. Well, that's been great. We look forward to catching up with you later and see how you're doing. 
I understand that you'll be contributing to Timeshare Weekly on a regular basis, so we can all see how you're getting on with your Timeshare adventure. Graham, is there anything you would like to ask Mike and Edie? Yes, definitely. Hi Mike and Edie, having spoken to a number of timeshare owners, they have mentioned the fact that timeshare has introduced them to a new experience that they felt they would not have had if they hadn't been involved in timeshare. What would you say has been your best experience to date as a result of your membership in timeshare? Yes, riding an airboat in the Everglades. When we went on tour there and I saw it taking off from the park, I knew I had to ride one. I didn't even know it was on my bucket list. And it was just the way I imagined. It's like riding an airplane that just never quite takes off. Alligators, I felt like I was in a Tarzan movie. Alligators slipping into the water as we cruised along. It was wonderful. That's a great experience uh, and a lot of fun. I understand that you intend to holiday across Europe within the next 18 months for around six months. Have you put a time or on visiting Europe? Right now the priority is getting our daughter situated and once she's settled we're really excited about going to Europe and staying there six to eight months. Um, we're hoping to do that within the next year or year and a half. Very excited. Okay, thank you Mike and Edie. We look forward to hearing more about your holiday trip in the future. What a great way to travel and see the world. It's getting back to what you said, Graham, that you can enjoy a lifetime of holidays as long as you own the right timeshare to suit your holiday style and do that little bit of homework. Yes, Mike and Edie have demonstrated what can be done in timeshare with a little planning. Sadly, the positives of timeshare rarely finds itself in the media. It's interesting to see that folk are placing more value on life experiences. There was an interesting uh, comment made by Professor Michael Norton at Harvard Business School, who made an interesting point that can be summarised. Happiness does not come from buying stuff. That's a short-term buzz. It's actually buying experiences that maximises happiness. Some of the resorts and larger holiday management groups are focusing on experiences so that members get that wow factor. They're not only providing a hospitality service, but they're finding out what their members want and they're wrapping a fantastic experience around it. What do you mean by that, Graham? This is moving on to another level, where they're finding out what members want and wrapping a fabulous holiday around it. For example, you might want a safari experience, so they accommodate that if that's what you want in your holiday time. Perhaps you want a, a, a unique golfing experience, so they're able to holiday and play some of the best courses in the world and got some pro lessons lined up for you. At my stage of life with young children, I need resorts that are geared up for the whole family, so we're all taken care of, whatever the age is. Kids clubs ensure that mum and dad get some me time. Thank you, Graham. That's given us food for thought. OK, well, stay with us, folks, as in the second half, Graham talks more about the exchange companies. The Privilege Club would like to invite you to explore our holiday club. Imagine having access to thousands of resorts worldwide and every year you get access to a luxury holiday once a year at no cost. Too good to be true? We'll find out more. We have arranged a limited number of short holiday breaks across the UK for those who wish to see what advantages a Privilege member has. Come and have a great break without any obligation. Why not take advantage of a short holiday break and have a great time at any of the resorts mentioned? The Price will change from time to time, so please be sure to call us. As a member of the Privilege Club, all you have to pay is your travel costs. There are no annual maintenance costs once you're a member. If you want more than that one holiday a year, you can access our bonus weeks that will cost you no more than what it would cost you to stay in a quality hotel for one to two nights. However, we can personalise your club membership to suit you. Come and find out more and meet with us with no obligation and share a coffee with us. There has never been a better time to own your own holiday. Holiday time. To book an inspection visit, call the Privilege Club on 01637 800055. Hello and welcome back to the Timeshare channel. Graham Williams of the Timeshare Weekly is here with us today as an expert on Timeshare to answer some general questions for those considering Timeshare. So Graham, welcome back. Now, another question that comes to mind, we discussed in the last programme how timeshare companies with the travel agencies, internet holidays and even owning your own private home. 
We have seen the savings that can be made with bonus weeks and especially with Mike and Edie showing how you can travel with Timeshare on a shoestring for a whole year. Is it all down to saving that you can say be made if you own the right Timeshare to suit your holiday style and do a little homework? No, there's more in my opinion, and Timeshare in the past has been wrongly promoted and partly assessed on the basis of financial logic. I have seen salespeople and consumers, both in the past, crunch out figures to justify forward against Timeshare, with the savings you will make when comparing spacious, quality self-catering apartments against smaller holiday hotel accommodation. Those salespeople and consumers are both wrong in my opinion, as this underlines the true value of what I believe is important to us. For me, owning my own holiday time is vital as it takes away all the excuses why we can't holiday once you're a member of a private holiday club that allocates you an annual holiday time. Let's get off that hamster wheel of life and take some real time out, capturing shared experiences together. The big benefit to me is getting back to our own personal bucket list where you can consider options available to work that bring experiences back into your holiday. I can see what you're saying, it's putting a value more on what you can take from owning your own holiday time with special experiences that is relative to the holiday requirements. It's not all about trying to compare a timeshare with a hotel room and try to equate the figures to just this. Yes, it's important. Do we want to go through life and end up wishing what could have been? Owning your own holiday time is a lifetime product that can adjust to suit our own holiday style, right from a young couple right up to when we have children and then long into retirement. We all live busy lives. Every layer of our life seems to have its own list of wants, wishes and to do. There's a need to family, friends, personal and businesses. It's not a bad thing that life is full, but if we're not careful, all those layers can come crushing down around us. I don't care who you are, we all need an outlet. Regular time out is a great stress relief. And in this day and age, quality time out is exactly what we need. Don't forget, with bonus weeks, you can take as many holiday weeks out as you require. And as mentioned, your family and friends can access those through your membership and whole week's accommodation in a timeshare apartment could be the equivalent price of one to two nights in a quality hotel. Quality time out is priceless and only we can put a value on that. However, with everything, obviously we must work within a budget, just like we must do with anything we want to own. We have an opportunity to review owning timeshare as it may not be right for everyone and only we can know this, but in order to pass judgment, you have to know the basics in order to consider this further. Review this short video to get a flavor of why owning your own holiday time can create experiences that most folk can only dream about. By owning your own holiday time, you can personalize your holiday style, experience a new destination, experience a new activity, experience a new you. Unlock the secrets to living a life of holiday experiences with a new and better way to holiday in style by owning your holiday time. There are timeshare resorts that focus on giving you a holiday experience because they want you to come back again and again. Why would some of the most respected companies in the holiday industry be involved in the largest private members club in the world? Why? Because Timeshare has a 50 year history with 7 million members that can access over 5,000 resorts in approximately 100 countries. No doubt you've heard of Marriott's Vacation Club, Hilton Grand Vacations, Hyatt Vacation Club, Disney, Holiday Inn Club Vacations, Wyndham Vacation Ownership and Diamond Resorts International, just to name a few. The holiday management groups can offer specialist holiday experiences with their own portfolio of resorts by accessing their internal exchange system for their club members. In addition to this, their external exchange system allows you to explore more of the world at even more resorts. Most timeshare resorts and holiday management groups are affiliated to one or both of the world's largest holiday exchange systems. That's either RCI, Resorts Condominiums International, or II, Interval International. RCI, back in 1974, introduced the concept of holiday exchange. RCI is the world's largest exchange club with a membership boasting 3.7 million members. RCI has two main exchange systems, RCI Weeks and RCI Points. Interval International is the next largest exchange club that was formed back in 1976, providing more holiday experiences to over 2 million members. 
Imagine having access to your dream holiday every year. Could that be a safari experience, perhaps skiing or a golfing holiday? Maybe visiting the various cultures that the world has to offer. Why not explore castles or stately homes? Perhaps visit a theme park. Maybe you like the idea of different fun water sports or maybe just relaxing on a beach type resort. What about exploring some of the world's most famous coral reefs? You are only limited by your imagination. Today, Timeshare offers maximum choice and options for today's club members. There are a number of independent exchange companies that most Timeshare owners are able to consider joining, including the following. Dial & Exchange is the largest independent exchange company following RCI and II. This company has been offering a simple, flexible service of holiday exchange since 1997. UK Resorts Exchange is a respected holiday exchange company that has been specialising mainly in UK exchanges since 1992. SFX, San Francisco Exchange. Different from most independent exchange companies, where only prime resorts from around the world with popular locations are allowed to participate. Don't be the one in life sitting back in your rocking chair just wishing you had done more with your friends and family. Timeshare is more than a hotel, so why then settle for a hotel room when you can have so much more? Explore holiday ownership, so you can have the option to consider thousands of holiday experiences that can adapt to suit your holiday style to last you and your loved ones a lifetime, right through long into retirement. Find out more about owning your holiday time and the exchange companies by reviewing timeshareweekly.com. There are no timeshare products for sale on Timeshare Weekly, it's there to guide the consumer to make more effective use of their holiday ownership. First rule is that if you can't be that flexible with your holiday time, then you need to plan ahead and request as soon as your exchange company allows. So ensure that you check out your club rules. Planning ahead is important for those main special holidays or those that are in prime time. If your exchange company only allows you to book 10 months ahead, and make sure you request 10 months ahead and not nine months. Most timeshare owners have told me when I asked the question, do you understand the benefit of booking ahead? Well, generally respond with you, yes, I do. Then it's discovered that they did not actually request at their earliest opportunity. So, find out when you can first start requesting your holiday time. That makes sense, as that's exactly the same as a travel agent's. The longer you leave it, obviously accommodation is going to fill up, especially in the prime time. Exactly. Try to create as wide a window period as you can when requesting your holiday. If, for example, when booking ahead, you require summer school holiday time in August, ask for any week during August, or as wide a window as you can. This may allow you to access a more favourable resort of your choice. If what you have requested is not available, then ask to leave a search open and ask how will you contact me if my resort of my choice becomes available. Remember that fellow time owners and sometimes resorts themselves deposit resort weeks throughout the year. So, just to recap, leave a search on if at the time when you have requested is not available for an exchange. Funnily enough, in the past, I have done exactly this with a travel agency and got them to look around for me. Requesting a research is vital with exchange companies. What you see online on an exchange company's website is what no one else has requested. As soon as a member makes a request, any week deposited that fits that request is immediately offered to the requesting member before going on the website. You will not see holiday weeks that are passing through the exchange company system that supporting their members such requests. So effectively, you are viewing online what no one else wants. That will still leave you with some great weeks, but it limits your options. So, what happens when you have put in your search and nothing seems to come up? Then perhaps you need to make an inquiry at other independent exchange companies that you might be able to access. So after ensuring you are using your main affiliate exchange company effectively, and you find that your holiday requirements are not met, then review independent exchange companies. Just maybe they might have the very week you want for that particular holiday. I have a whole area devoted to this on Timeshare Weekly called Independent Exchange Companies. And that has eight specific questions that you need to review. What about if I can't book ahead? Or if I don't want to plan ahead and just want some spontaneity? And I just can't because of my business and I usually take them at very short notice. 
Then you need to review the article on Times Show Weekly titled Bonus Weeks. Does your family and friends know about them? This is even better for a number of reasons as discussed on the first programme and within this article. Anything else, Graham? Yes, make sure that your exchange company has your best email address. As Edie pointed out, that she and Mike can sometimes take advantage of special deals that come around on a regular basis. Exchange companies will sometimes just email you direct some great discounted weeks. Can you tell us a little about some of these exchange companies, Graham? Are they all the same? No, although they have some similarities, they may differ in some ways. Again, this and more information available on Timeshare Weekly. Some are free to join, while others may have an annual subscription and have different exchange fees. Additionally, some may specialise at timeshare accommodation at a specific part of the world, and have better availability than others that may suit a particular holiday requirement that you may have for one year. Are there any changes you would like to see in the industry? I want my cake, icing and cherry on the top. I'm here for the consumer, but anything I would like to see implemented has to be workable. The good thing is that the key players in the time industry want this too. I attended a conference hosted jointly by RDO, that's Resort Developer Organisation, and TATOC, the Timeshare Association. This was attended by leaders in the timeshare industry who travelled as far away as Australia, South Africa and the USA, to name a few countries. Collectively, they virtually represent timeshare. This was about sharing ideas on how to make this an even better industry and experience for the timeshare owner. ARDA, that's American Resort Developers Association, play an important part in the timeshare industry. They have extensive experience and knowledge of our industry, and it's likely if you own a timeshare in the USA, they will be a member of ARDA. If you want to find out more, then just check out their website. The European timeshare industry has just launched a new initiative with a support service called the Timeshare Task Force. This is where we can check out companies, if we wish, with their simple business check system, what other industry has this support service? Timeshare is moving forward all the time. OK, so on closing, Graham, is there anything else that you would like to mention? Yes, uh, hopefully the viewers will note, as with the first programme in the series, this is mainly at this stage for the curious consumer who wishes to find out a little bit more than we are here for you. For those who want a little bit more depth, I have made constant reference back to Timeshare Weekly, as there are some specific areas that will help guide you further. As we have mentioned before, there are no timeshare products or timeshare advertisements for sale on Timeshare Weekly. There is one other area that you can assist with, and we would like to hear from you as your opinion counts. Ensure you visit timeshareweekly.com and enter the area that is titled Your Opinion Counts. Also, for timeshare owners who have worked the system and have a positive story to tell, then we want to hear it. You will note some of our existing testimonials on Timeshare Weekly, so let's see if we can add your holiday experience to Timeshare Weekly with your permission. Or perhaps one day we might just see you on Sky TV telling us your story. So please email me direct on graham at timeshareweekly.com. Thank you so much for your time, Graham. Ensure you tune into the next programme called the Timeshare Channel. This will be shown on Sky 212 at 9.30pm on the first Monday of every month. Please. Don't forget, if you want to review this programme again, it will be shown again in the month. Either just search for it on Sky, under the Timeshare channel, or on YouTube, or visit our website. Thank you for sharing your time with us, and we hope that you've found this to be of some benefit to you. Next month, we're going to be continuing our discussion on exchange companies, and we will be looking at how specifically Timeshare can work for couples and young families. But for now, thank you, and goodbye.